Wonderful way to start off this video. Hello, hello, hello. This is uh, Andrew Dornan of Dorman Productions, and today we are back with Portal. Uh, if you guys remember, uh, some of those, uh, some of you who have been here uh, with this channel for a while, even back when it was uh, with the Twelfth Kind, uh, when it was called the Twelfth Kind, uh, you know that at one point I did a Let's Play on Portal. Well, I went through. It was seven episodes and it felt kind of disheartening that it was done already well as of recently i did a review for portal and i put it up on my website uh, www.doormannetproductions.com you can check it out uh the link i'll have the website the, the the address for the website on screen and there'll also be a link in the description below um and i found out through doing this review that I could do additional bonus videos on the bonus maps so if we go over here to bonus maps we have advanced chambers and challenges um, the way this is going to work is I'm going to do um, one or two uh, chambers uh, of the advanced chambers uh, per episode and then when that is done we're going to the challenges now for the challenges I'll go ahead and show you both of these are test chambers 13 through 18 but with uh, added difficulty. So if I select test chamber 13, you can select a challenge, least portals, uh, least steps, and least time. Now, when I did this, I did this kind of just test it out and also to get some footage for the review. And obviously I didn't, I went six seconds over the goal, but that's because that points I was very hesitant and there's actually a lot of nifty tricks that you can do like in touch chamber 13 you don't need that second cube uh, something I found out uh, fairly quickly uh, getting the footage for this review so without further ado as it says that I've gone I've already done 13 through 17 I kind of did those on my own way back when but <clears throat> without further ado let's get started with the advanced Test chamber 13. Loading. Alrighty, here we go. Loris and Tom, 13. Now, as you saw in the preview window, we have this nasty looking floor. This is a biohazard waste. Uh, what we can do, right off the bat, you may have noticed hey, we don't have uh, a cube in here. Well, you could just go through here, and if you remember, we can shoot through the grates. So let's go ahead and put a blue portal up there. Let's put an orange portal here. Jump on down. And I want us to go ahead and get that energy pellet out of the way so it doesn't cause us any trouble. Because we're going to need that cube right there uh, in order for us to open the door. Okay. And what we're going to do is we are actually going to go all the way down there. So what, you see that little platform down there? We're going to use that to jump to that button uh, where my orange portal is over. Oh, oh no! Oh no! Whoops. <laughs> that is fantastic. All right, let's try that again. That was uh, that was a whoopsie daisies on my part. I didn't realize that my portal was off by so much. Now we gotta wait for the cube to come on back. <clears throat> I'm not sure if I pointed this out in the uh, main series. Let's go ahead and jump on down. Uh, but there's a little circle. Uh, by your reticle as well as those two uh, crescents the crescents are the indication of whether you've used um, your blue or orange portal yet and then the little circle is to indicate as which one you've recently fired uh, and also when you point it over it it shows you hey that's your blue portal and my orange portal is up there I'll put one up there so I can show you hey that one's your orange portal now watch that little circle next to the crescent Boom, it switched over to the blue side. 
and that is because we used our blue portal. Uh, now, real quick, I don't like how that is positioned, so I'm going to move it. There we go. Uh, there we go. Oh, that is dangerous right there. We're going to place you there. Get orange portal. Jump on down to this button. Now, as you may have noticed, once again, we only have the one cube. Well, if you look in there, there are portable walls. So if we put a blue portal in there and we put an orange portal over there, we can hop on through. All right. And also, what's an episode of Portal without? To ensure the safe performance of all authorized activities, do not destroy vital testing apparatus. Do not destroy vital testing apparatus. Yep. So that was Advanced Test Chamber 13. It is nothing too harsh, just something to uh, <laughs> dip your toes into. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, that was actually pretty bad. Now that I run that through my head again, I was like, no, that's that's horrible. <laughs> uh, so that was Test Chamber 13. Let's move on to Test Chamber 14. Are you ready? Getting to the box is harder and the moving platforms are removed. So in case you're wondering what that means, if you don't recall in uh, test chamber 14, there were moving platforms in the water that you could use to move along. And this shows you we need momentum, uh, cubes, high energy pellets, the water is dangerous and also don't drink any tap water. All right, so if we head along here, it gives us the stairs, nice and very helpful. Now we can see that the cube is up there, but there's no portable walls. Like I'll shoot my portal gun all over the place. These gray metallic tiles uh, do not cut it for us. So what are we gonna do? Well, we have this pit right here, and we also have a wall, or not a wall, a floor right here. We have got our white tiles and so if we just jump down here, oop, I was not facing the right way. So let's try that again. Oh, this is quite sad. Let's try it one more time. There we go. So now we can grab this cube and bring it down here. And it gives us the lift. We're going to go ahead and put a blue portal there. We're going to run on down here. We're going to need this cube to put on this button. Right here. Sorry about that. Now just to show you real quick, this is not portable in any means. As you can see, I'm going to put my reticle over here. They light up, whereas here... They do not. Alright, so you may have noticed, hey, there is no platforms whatsoever. Not even the middle platform. How are we going to do it? Well, we're going to use science. Actually, what we're going to do is we're going to put an orange portal over there. I think this is what we're going to do. And then... We're going to put a blue portal up here, and then we're going to put the orange portal there. Then we're going to run on through and put a blue portal up there. Oops. My timing was not right. Ah, uh, doesn't... Oh. I'll meet you guys back here in just a minute. Alrighty, we're back just about where we were. So, let's go ahead, put a blue portal in there. Let's run like hell, put an orange portal up there, and voila, we have successfully gotten the high energy pellet into the reciprocal, as I used to call it a lot in the Let's Play. And, you know what? Just because we can, let's bring the cube with us on our victory lift just to disintegrate it because either way it's going to get disintegrated boom and in we go also if you notice that the portal gun does not have any lights on it but if you fire a blue portal it's blue 
if you fire an orange portal, it's orange. Just uh, something interesting I wanted to point out. All right, let's go ahead and check our time real quick because we've uh, been doing this a lot. We're at 10 minutes and 45 seconds. I think we could go uh, for another test chamber. Uh, I know that might cut down the bonus videos a bit, uh, but they are pretty fun. So for this special first bonus episode, we're going to take care of three test chambers. Now, later on, it may just be two chest test chambers. It might just be one because they do get pretty difficult up ahead. Here we've got high energy pellets, dangerous water, momentum, and also we cannot drink the tap water. <clears throat> now this up, we've got this right here. We've also got um, this right here. This is our only form of momentum. We can't put a polar roll down here and eject ourselves out here. We actually have to use the infinite portal technique. They're not really infinite portal technique, but the infinite um, acceleration and uh, momentum. Well, it's not really infinite. It's actually the speed of um, gravitational acceleration, which is 9.80. Gosh darn it. I tried to drop some physics knowledge on you guys. Then that distracted me from the true goal. All right, so that should be perfectly aligned. Let's let's try something else. Let's do that. Let's get ourselves dead center. There we go. Ah, uh, it's moving us over a little bit. Oh, ho, ho. this is very, very challenging. Let's go ahead and put a blue portal up there so we can put an orange portal up here. It's just easier. All right, so we see how that is. So I think, I think this is about as good aligned as we can get. Sort of. Here we go. Ah. Oh my gosh. That knocked us out. Okay. Oh, oh. Ah. Disorientation. Disorientation. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Okay. Oh crap. Oh crap. I can't. Oh no. Uh, no. No. <sighs> that was poor. took me a while but finally got it through uh, doing downward um, infinite falling uh, is is very disorientating for me so you could probably see why I don't uh, like those kind of puzzles now here if you remember uh, in the main story uh, this wasn't here so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the quick um, we're gonna do that so this goes through all right so then we're going to do that and oh I was off a little bit hopefully it oh nope there it goes it explodes okay so now we've got the blast marks to show where it goes so we do that and this and oh so close 
Now the problem with this is that the high energy pellet has a shorter lifespan, so you really have to make sure you do your uh, your error checking, your your um, trial and error. And I missed it again because I missed the mark. Let's try this one more time. And if we don't get it in this run, then I'm going to cut to when I do get it. Ah, never mind. We don't have to cut at all. I got it in the reciprocal. So as we can see, that guy's all done shooting pellets. And we can go on. Alrighty. Now, just to let you know, I will not uh, end in the middle uh, of a test chamber. We will, if we go over time, the time limit is about, um, I, I would say a good, good time limit is 20 minutes for these videos. Uh, if we go over it because the test chamber is a bit long, that is a-okay. Uh, we just need to make sure that we work quickly. All right, so we need to jump up there, but we don't have a wall over here. We only have walls in here. We actually need portals to get up here. So let's try just simple this. It did not work. So we're going to need to try something else. I have a theory. It's we have portable ceilings, uh, portal a bowl, I don't even think that was a word. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to jump through from the ceiling and then we're going to put a portal uh, right before we land like so. And then, oh, it didn't quite work, but we have the right idea. So let's get back in here. Let's put another uh, portal down like so. And hopefully this time we won't uh, get too disoriented as to... Uh, lose momentum there we go all right so now over here we've got another case of uh, energy pellets getting moved around we do have the little uh, stick out of the wall from there uh, from the original so let's go ahead and hop on over and I think I have an idea as to what to do let's put a blue portal there and an orange portal there because it will be coming in an angle and that was actually incorrect so let's go ahead and put an orange portal there and see where that takes us oh it actually worked huh how about that all right I did not actually expect that to work but you know it was a neat little surprise all right so let's go ahead jump on through voila and it looks like it came off at just the right angle and it hit that and then it just went straight into the reciprocal awesome so now we've got the moving platforms although they're a bit faster than before so we're really gonna have to think on our feet let's go ahead and put a blue portal there orange portal all right so we missed our mark that's okay let's go ahead and wait for another platform to come by all right get on it and put a blue portal in there and this platform is moving a bit too fast for my liking so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get off here this is our stop ding dong and go through here so now we've got the high energy pellet and we've got the dual doors up here we have uh, let's see will this take us up this will all right so what we can do is we can come up in here and then let's see let's go ahead and put a blue portal in there and then we are going to what we want to do is we want to press this button jump into a portal get out in there uh, press that button and then put uh, two portals down so that we can get the ball into there before the timer ends so we're a bit on a clock so let's go come on press the button and come on fire another one please make it quick and we missed our mark fantastic but it's okay we can go ahead and hit that there and I'm gonna take my frustration out on the security camera so we're going to press this button 
then we're going to jump through there and press that button uh, I think what's going to be faster is if we just do this press that and then really quick uh, what gets us every time it seems is that the high energy pellet goes off in its own direction right when we press the button that is not okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead there's a bug flying around me that is very annoying but that is not going to stop us today okay so quick put that down orange blue please spit it out fast come on come on come on and we got it just as the door closed have you seen a closer save i have not all right and let's get on our victory lift 2.0 and our victory elevator all right and there we go that was advanced test chambers 13 through 15 man it's just burp city up in here <laughs> so if you enjoyed the video Please like, favorite, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already subscribed. And if you didn't like the video, that's why the dislike button is there. And tell me what you didn't like about it in the comment section below. I'm Andrew Jordan, and I will see you guys next time for some more Portal bonus episodes. Bye-bye.